Well, peace and blessings. It's an honor to be here. And my name is Queen Kiki Cervantes. In a great level that I primarily uh, teach with school. I, it was a variety of grades, actually. However, I mainly taught and teach with middle school and high school. Different subjects, however, primarily ELAR, which is English Language Arts and Reading. Yes. Honestly, teaching is my life because educating, mentoring, coaching, that's part of what I do outside of school. So it actually goes into alignment. Uh, I actually have an education in mental health and psychology background as well. I have my degree in those core areas. And for me, I implement those things in my personal business and also my faith-based ministry that I I'm um, involved in. So being able to take the knowledge and even the social and emotional skills that I learned through educating and to apply those things in other areas of my life is amazing. And I just like to have fun. I like to be around authentic and transparent people. And I'm, I'm a servant leader. So wherever I go, I'm serving and leading at the same time. I'm all about empowering others in, in any capacity, especially millennials and generations to come, as well as females across the board. So that's just some things about me personally. And I'm originally from New Jersey. I'm here based as a school educator in Houston, Texas. However, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. So just this shift alone, it was unique in its own right. So to be able to engage with different lifestyle adjustments when it comes to people, places, and things, it, it, it's been very welcoming overall. I, I just enjoy educating I, and I love God. So again, a part of what I do is in my ministry. So yeah, those are some of the core things about me. I actually started way back in 2008, actually substitute teaching. And in between that time, taking on different uh, professional roles in the educational field. I started uh, subbing in Baltimore, Maryland, where I went to college at Coppin State University, HBCU. And that is literally how I started subbing because I was already in the educational field. And growing up being a tutor for some students younger than me or some peers in my age group or even students that were older than me, you know, that kind of gave me a, a mindset of what subbing could be. I'm like, hey, well, I'm pretty kind of sub and teach in a certain capacity. So now it's just on a larger scale inside of a classroom on my own majority of the time. So that's how I started subbing. I was in college and education and, and psychology is my background. So I started to gain my experience there. I've never heard of school. I was in New Jersey and I was in my transition coming from New Jersey to Texas. And I have already had other opportunities lined up because I have an ABA therapy background. So therefore I was coming to transition to be a therapist. So as I transitioned, I was supposed to start school and the other job on the same day. So I still had the opportunity to do both. And I said, you know what? Let me just see, because they didn't give me a feel of how the schools are, how the school systems, different counties, different school districts are ran. So it, it provided me that opportunity. That's what led me to do school. And then I'm still here since the end of last year. I've been teaching with school literally the first day of 2022, which was December 16th. And then once the new year came in, I've been working with school ever since. I get called on for long-term partnerships with the schools and even different types of offers and different <laughs> applications referrals from the schools because of my work ethic and my efforts and my results there. So it's been phenomenal for me. It gives me the flexibility, that's number one. The flexibility is amazing. The starting pay rate is amazing. And that's another thing I want to say is that I got a pay raise in the schools while working there. Started off with one pay, which was a fairly nice pay start. And then it shifted up because of my work abilities there. So just the, the flexibility, the pay, the ability also to be able to transition into full-time teaching and to get your certification in certain areas. So just to have that at my disposal, it was just a great thing for me to leave a room for opportunity for growth. Lastly, you guys, we have a coffee conversation coming up. So I'm excited about that. It'll be my first one 
So we're bringing everybody from within our regions together. That's another reason why I enjoy uh, working for school. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Ms. Yewandi has been an amazing, a great communicator and a consultant. And if something's going on, I'm able to reach out to her and I'm getting feedback almost immediately at times. There's never a long period of time that passes by. And that's something that I need, especially when it comes to employment, just building rapport, things if I needed to work on, I'm pretty sure she's doing the same thing with others. And even just giving that reward system, that congratulations, hey, I see you're doing a great job. And also from my end, when I have different things that uh, I'm experiencing, I share them with her so that we have that dialogue going so she's aware of everything that's going on. And that's how I've been able to just transition from different schools. I haven't been to that many schools, which is a plus for me. I'm usually long term at these schools. Just to have that transition has been uh, amazing because she's been a, a catalyst for it. I would like to say a student, he, he, amazing, amazing child, amazing scholar. I'm just happy to see his growth because he was a problematic child by the system's standards. And when I was able to have that ability to not just work in the classrooms and work with various students, I actually had the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with students, to work in inclusion settings, to help shift the dynamics of the behavior and emotional state of the child to shift their academics to a higher degree. So to know that I am the person that got chosen for that, and he is the student who helped yield the results of me working with him one-on-one -on -one has been, it's literally indescribable because he was failing since he came to this school. He was failing at his previous school. He has been given ample opportunities and he was getting some support to a certain degree. However, he told me directly that he didn't feel like people respected him. And this is coming from a high school teenager, a freshman at that. And he said, Mr. Vines, you respect me. I respect you. You respect me. And that's why I like working with you. That's why That's why I enjoy doing what I do. And, you know, he has his moments where, you know, he's, he's a teenager. He doesn't always want to do anything. However, to see a student go from not even participating, failing every class, not some, he was failing all of his classes, not raising his hand, not asking questions, coming to school late to doing a complete 180 by my assistance to now being able to come to school on time, raising his grades to the point where he wasn't failing everything anymore. He's now getting Bs and even an A in the other class if other work is submitted. He's participating. He's doing his communication class, his speech class. He participated in speaking. He's asking questions without me giving him a nudge. I'm like, yeah, go ahead, raise your hand without that. You know, it started off with that and it ended with him just, and it's still constantly going on. And I'm not even currently working with him right now because I'm in a different uh, position. However, to even know that he's still giving his best and doing his all because of my efforts, it means everything to me. It means everything to me. If I could change one child's life, one scholar's life, that's what matters the most. And he had other students in his classroom that they see me working with him. Now they. Mr. Vance, work, work with me, help me out. Or to see that now they want the help. Other students who may not necessarily even need the help, honestly, they just want that support, that respect to know that someone's there. So my, my student is, I know he's gonna do amazing things in his life. I know he's doing great things right now as he transitioned and as he just continuously prospered, just giving his efforts. And that is my success story. He's my number one story right now since I've been here in Houston, Texas, and it's been amazing. And it's been amazing. I, I grew up in a Spanish background as well, like speaking. However, I haven't been around it that much in Jersey. So coming back here, he's telling me, I'm going to help you with your Spanish. So we'll come in. He'll help me with my Spanish. Like, he's just so amazing. He didn't even want me to leave um, during the time where I had to transition. It was an emotional thing. And that's what drew me even more like, wow, I did make an impact. Because sometimes as an educator, sometimes as a leader, we don't always see it. We don't always reap the benefits of what we sow. We don't always see the fruit 
of what we show and to see it firsthand is truly indescribable. The advice that I will give to someone subbing for the very first time is this, going there with a loving, compassionate spirit, have a mindset of servant leadership. You're there to serve and lead at the same time. You're serving these scholars and even being connected to the staff and wherever you are located, we have an attitude of gratitude and that basically what I'm saying is be positive. Go in there knowing that you will make an impact, no matter if you see that you yield the, res the results or not. These are children. We are more than the minds of our future. That's not just a popular quote or cliche. We are literally molding, shaping the minds of our youth. It's like they're the clay and we are the potter. So be cognizant of the mind you're shaping today. One thing I would say about school is that they give you the, the flexibility. If you just want to learn more about the educational system, if you want to just tap into a new field, or if you're doing your part-time business, if it's an extra stream of income, and again, it doesn't matter, honestly. School is, gives you ample opportunities to be a sub and to grow within the system. That's the beauty of it all. And also to further educate yourself. You may be a first time sub or you may not be certified. And being in these areas, you'll be able to be guided to certification if that is what you choose to do. Because we have great consultants like Ms. Wande who aided me in that transition as well. It, where a person doesn't know anything, they'll find the answer, trust me. So working with school, being part of the school team, it's just amazing. You're missing out if you're not connected. That's all. <laughs> I'll say unique. It's been unique in a good way because not only has it shown me the growth of the scholars and the group of the staff that I work with, it's shown me the growth that I have from within. So we're all unique beings coming together as one, taking our creativity, taking our mindsets, taking our experiences, taking our education, and, and building with one another in a unique way. So I would say school is unique. If I could leave you with anything for anyone watching, anyone listening right now, it's to be yourself because people will gravitate to your authenticity. People know when you are not being genuine and when you're not really being respectful. So while you being your authentic self, you're respecting yourself, those children, that staff member, everyone, they will be drawn to you. So don't focus so much on what you can get out of school or even just get out of life. Focus on what you can give. And being a servant leader, that's what matters most.